Good afternoon, good evening, everyone. After an attempted suicide, attempted murder, after suffering two divorces, God blessed me with my soulmate when I was 51 years old. God revealed through my husband what he intended for marriage. And I have enjoyed every aspect of it. Time would fail me if I tried to tell you about fully about the character and the strength of this man. So I'm going to introduce him to you the way he presented himself to me on a date. He gave me a card and the card was sprayed with his special, his favorite cologne. And he signed the card from a strong black man with soft, tender feelings. That is the love that I have known, that I came to know after the trauma season of my life. Now, he didn't call me, he didn't just call me his queen. He treated me like his queen. The twinkle in his eyes and the smile on his face when he looked at me spelled love loudly. We didn't, we, he called, I called, he called me baby. No, that's the reverse. I called him baby. No, that's the reverse. I, he called me baby and I called him honey. And those were the names that we have known all of these years, not our given names. So about 20 years ago, I pride myself on the communication of my husband. Uh, we had phenomenal communication, spoken and unspoken. And over 20 years ago, we sat at the table talking and my husband looked at me and he said, baby, I want to be so good to you that if anything ever happens to me, you would have no problem taking care of me. Well, at the end of 2016, something did happen. My husband stood at the kitchen sink, looking out the window. It was a bright, sunny day. And he turned and looked at me and spoke words that I will never forget. And he was using hand gestures and he said, baby, it just feel like everything in me just dropped out into a bucket. I said, baby, what are you talking about? He repeated it. After we finished talking, I made a doctor's appointment because we needed to understand what he was describing because we didn't understand it. And so at that moment, I intentionally started observing him. And in observing him, I wanted to be prepared to tell the doctor everything he needed to know to help him, to help us understand this crazy experience because the doctor was going to help us. The doctor was going to help us. And after he helped us, we would get up and we would just move on. We moved on, but not as we hoped. We've gone from cognitive decline, dementia, Alzheimer's disease, and bam, love, no longer looked like love, like I knew it. His actions were controlled by that dreadful disease. 
the twinkle and the smile that made me feel on top of the world. Well, it wasn't there anymore. The hands that caressed me were now being raised as a fist ready to hurt and harm me. The arms that softly embraced me and held me up strong. They were gone without a trace. The support, the support, the encouragement because of who I am today, because of that man's encouragement and support. It turned into mean, harsh, judgmental words that pierced the very heart. But it wasn't him. His eyes, the eyes that we use to speak our love, our love language. They had become cold and piercing, even unfocused. So for the last seven years, I have loved who he used to be. And every day of this season, he has faced the challenge of learning who I am because we never called each other by name. So my name means nothing to him. Our husband and wife relationship means nothing to him. What he responds to is my presence. He knows my presence. And he knows when my presence is not there. So when I thought love had gone away and love didn't look like love anymore, it was just covered. Love was wearing a new attire. It was covered all over, un, or under the Alzheimer's disease. And it was wearing a different attire. And that different attire underneath that Alzheimer's disease, I realized that our love was still present. Our love was still strong. It may not be the same, but it's still there. So I wanna encourage every one of you, don't give up on your love. Your loved one loves you. And it is still there. It just may be in a different form and may be covered. So you be encouraged. Um, thank you for listening to me. You can connect with me um, through my website, www.fire2inspire.life. Or you can join us in our uh, the art of survival clubhouse room on Thursday mornings at 8 a.m. But we just invite you. My products can be found on Amazon and on my website. And I invite you to partake of them. But know that your loved one that don't even know you still loves you. God bless you. Thank you for your time. Mm -hmm.